Hi, uh, welcome to the last part of the video of making my very first epoxy coffee table. And in this video, I will show you how I make the table legs for the coffee table that I make in the previous part of this video. Uh, so before I, uh, I get down to the real work, which is working with the um, all of the wood curtains and create the legs for the table I like to see what the final product would look like so I built um, a small model of the product um, here um, so just imagine so then this is the table the epoxy tabletop that I built in the previous video and then here is the legs um, so for the legs I'm thinking of then having like the two letters here uh, for the legs uh, on both sides um, you see that right there okay, so now, um, and um, so the T and V here that is the first letter in my first name and the first letter in my wife's first name combined and then um, underneath here is like um, another board or the panel for the bottom and underneath that there's small um, bottom a uh, small um, panel at the bottom there so if you look from the uh, from 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 above and then this to me that it would create the effect like this um, this bottom here is floating and of course this is just the model and then I will build a uh, um, couple more support uh, bars along the side here just so just so to make the legs more sturdy then for the colors um, so the tabletop that you see in the previous video uh, I stand that with the pecan uh, pecan or pecan um, colors color stand uh, I will do the same to the bottoms here but for the legs for the letters here I will paint it black just so the leg cap stand out um, so this is the, the color that uh, my wife and I uh, came up with so I uh, I drew a sketch of the um, the final product for the table legs here last night um, so the, the height of the table legs um, of the table um, is 17 inches and the width of that is 24 inches and I also got some measurements for the the length of the so there are two bottoms here um, so the first bottom the top bottom is um, so the width of that one or the length of that is um, 22 inches and the second bottom is um, 20 inches and here is the, um, the view from the side um, as I mentioned before, so there's this is the new um, that the, the support bar that I I will put in to connect like the two. Um, so this is the side of the ladder and the two ladders, and then I'll have the bars to connect those to add more support for the for the table. And here is the um, the template. Uh, for the the letters um, or the it's called the legs um, on two sides of the the table um, so this is the the real size and so I will use this template to to cut um, the wood for this shape here um, so the width of these uh, is two inches and the thickness of each letter is uh, one inch and a half. Uh, so I just finished um, cutting and sanding the uh, the first bottom of the table here. 
Um, so they see, they see the um, the thickness of this one is three quarter thick um, ACX panel, and I put some uh, veneer um, along the uh, the edge here just so to make to make them uh, look finish. So the um, the dimension of this uh, bottom is um, 22 inches by 46 inches, and for the second bottom of the of the table, I'm gonna use uh, the um, this uh, two by 12 by 8 feet here and cut them to the the length that I need, and. Um, Using using this as the second bottom of the table. Um, these uh, two by twelve by eight um, panel here I got from the Home Depot uh, for with the seventy percent off um, because we got some defect uh, right up there. You can see the crack, long crack along the side here. But to me, that's okay. Um, So I also cut um, two of the two by four like this um, and glue them together just so I got got um, I can use this template to create um, the letter T and V like this for the table legs and I also got a, another ball like this um, and I'm gonna you do the same thing just so I can make another leg of the other side of the table. Uh, so here is the um, the table legs that I made from the template that I have. Um, so this is the letter T and V, um, and then the same side, the same same letters in the other side here, and then I also got the two support bars uh, for the tabletop to sit on. Um, the length of the height of this um, legs is uh, 15 and a half plus the thickness of the tabletop is one one inch and a half so the total uh, height of the whole table is um, 17 inches and now I have to figure out like where do I put the the table put this table uh, over here that means like I have to drill some holes in here for um, these legs to go through and at the bottom of this one I will have another bottom board to screw this one these legs uh, onto um, to uh, locate the, um, the position where I need to draw to cut the hole so that I can put um, push um, these uh, legs to go through to underneath here. Um, so I uh, I use the um, the leveler here to um, to make to estimate uh, where I need to uh, to put the the legs. Here. So you can see, um, I just need to make sure um, uh, this support bar touch the um, touch this um, leveler, and then the same for the um, the board uh, down there, and then I make sure the, um, the leveler here is uh, level, and I do the same to the other two corner, three corners here. And after that, I'm gonna, I uh, I will um, mark around um, the edges here, and then those are the um, the location that I need to uh, make the hole, so I can push these uh, table legs go through. So I just cut um, a few holes and uh, push the um, the legs here through. Um, you can see underneath here. 
So these are the legs. So then I will build another bottom ball here in the back and screw uh, this leg uh, onto. This is a little bit like imperfection because of there's a uh, holes in there. But that's okay. I can um, fill those holes later. Uh, so this is the um, a complete um, table legs that I I I made um, yesterday. Um, so um, as I mentioned earlier, the height of this one, the legs is 15 inches and half. Then plus the the thickness of the tabletop, uh, which is one and half inch. So the total height of the coffee table here is um, 17 inches. And then um, underneath that, um, there's another um, bottom board um, underneath this one. Um, so that bottom board is our uh, one and a half uh, inch uh, thick. Um, so these legs here uh, is, are screwed onto the bottom board there, so just make more <coughs> excuse me more support for the legs. Uh, and then um, all of these uh, support bar and then the legs here uh, beside the uh, the black paint that I put on. Um, I also put on another coat of um, clear cloth um, stand, so just to make it a little bit more um, shiny. So that's everything. So from the above here, you can see it look like the um, the whole legs to me like it's a little bit floating. So that's everything about um, this video that I like to show you how I make the, um, the table legs for my um, coffee table, epoxy coffee table. So this is the finished product of my uh, very first epoxy coffee table. Lots of details and lots of mistakes and lots of lesson learned. strip light um, underneath the table here so this is the um, the battery operated um, LED lights um, and this light you can change the colors and the brightness um, so I bought these um, LED lights from Amazon and they have the um, the sticky tape in the back, and so I can stick them alongside of the um, the table there underneath that. Um, so this is everything that I like to show you about my first um, epoxy coffee table. Um, if I have time, and then I will do another. Uh, I'll make another um, epoxy coffee table but this time that's gonna be um, the end table to match with this um, 
coffee table and thank you for watching and if you like this video series um, please subscribe to my channel thank you